Hello and welcome back to Maypole Farm. As promised, I have been out and I have cut all but one of the meadows. The only meadow that still needs cutting is the one with the cows in. So you won't have to watch me do that same job all over again. But that does mean today we have got a lot of wind rowing and we've hopefully got to get in um, some loading. What we want to do is try, I'm thinking I want to get this one cleared first. So then I can try and get the cows in here so that we can cut the other meadow. So there may be a little bit of cutting, uh, but not a lot. That may even come um, tomorrow. We'll see how the day goes. But we have got our hay on our two larger fields or our two large meadows down the bottom there. And we've just got grass in the sheep and this uh dairy pasture so I need to go and find let me just think John Deere I think we'll take the John Deere out to do the wind rowing haven't got a clue where I've left everything turns out I'd left them both right next to each other so uh, I don't know why I was having difficulty remembering that it wasn't that long ago right let's jump in get started up watch the post So today, I'm running at, at time six. I felt like times five gave me way too long of a day. But for what we need to do, ten wouldn't give us enough. Now, I'll never drop lower than five, and I probably won't, <laughs> won't ever go higher than ten. So we might find that six is our new speed when, uh, when we've got a lot to do. We may eventually go, like I said before, we may eventually go to three days per month. See how that works out for us. Because now we've got the animals and I want to uh, expand the yard. We're going to need more time. I, th I feel that anyway. So, let us pick a random spot to start in. In uh, rowing the grass and getting the silage in first, in in uh, RP terms, we are letting our um, grass bake over on the ones that we've ted. See if I can get this to go straight. But this is also meaning we're going to get some silage in, and uh, we can look to maybe sell a little if we don't need it all. But I did notice that um, the mineral feed has gone down really quickly. That doesn't seem to last very long. So uh, at some point we're going to need to go up to the store and get some more of that. Uh, I do apologise if you pick up a whistle today. Um, I seem to, <laughs> to have a really whistly <laughs> nostril. I don't know why I've tried to <laughs> clear it. I'll, I'll tell you the functions. I've put a little bit of Vaseline up there and tried to sort of st stop it, but it's, it's happening all the time. I noticed it on a on a few videos, uh, probably a, a little while back now. I don't know why I'm suddenly getting it. I've never had a particularly whistly nasal. I mean, I've got one that doesn't work very well from uh, <laughs> mis misadventures as a young man. Uh, only one of my nostrils work. The other one is 90% closed up and that's not the one that whistles, which is uh, a little ironic. But yeah. Young boys will be boys. I don't mind a little bit of uh, wind rowing. don't mind the, the grass work in general, but especially when I'm not hitting trees. I mean, it's even better when you're not smacking your equipment about. I have said that some of these uh, trees on the farm might disappear uh, just for my own personal ease. They're good, they're nice, they're very decorative, but I clip them all the time. 
especially when I do uh, what I like to do my mowing I like to do it from in cab I think this is a nice way to mow although I did none of my mowing uh, in cab for you guys in the last episode but the mirrors don't necessarily point where you want them to point if we had adjustable mirrors and I'm sure there's probably a mod out there for particular tractors that do do that turn and circles terrible um, with things like uh, I forget what it's called now like interactive thing uh, I know there's uh, a mod sort of in its beta still for all the interactive stuff interactive controls I see that's what it's called I see um, yeah they're still uh, being worked on and going through I see that popping up on uh, a few of the sites always says beta though so they're still working out kinks and what have you um, I never really used that on 19 or on 17 I think uh, at the time a uh, little bit advanced for me but you never know we may work, work it in at some point one day I may even uh, <laughs> try and tackle GPS I had it installed for a while uh, but never used it I, I don't really have, have much use for it for the way that I tend to play I'm not always too worried about perfectly straight lines and to be fair I don't think it's that hard to go straight it's uh, you know, pick a point and head towards it. I know people like it to be perfect and, I don't know, to do other things, I guess. I'm not fully aware of all its functionalities. Now, something I did used to like was course play. I'd love to see uh, and course play uh, come back in the way that it used to work. There is a copy of it that is going around, once again, very much in a beta. Um, it's working in so it's more with the, uh, the built-in um, AI jobs and stuff like that so uh, it's got a different sort of interface but I'll definitely be interested in giving that a crack when it comes out I didn't ever do anything complex with that it was just nice for setting up routes for workers in fields just so they didn't have all the trouble that they have with uh, trees and islands and stuff like that absolute brilliant mod try and tackle that bit a little later Let's try and have some of it look decent at least I hope you're all well everyone's uh, open with uh, whatever it is they have going on we've had some funny weather at the time of me recording this in East Anglia where I live we have been having some up and down weather lately me and my partner were trying to get out and do the garden recently and uh, it had some lovely days and then suddenly we got hit and we've been getting snow and hail the ground has been frozen over so that's sort of come to a standstill on our days at home and then uh, the last two days uh, my little boy has become rather quite ill so that's uh, needing a lot of attention I'm still trying to do this it just means I've been doing this a little bit later than I had been I've got used to doing this a little bit earlier in the evening but it means it's just uh, me working later in the night to get the content done I'm trying to stay on schedule and rebuild the schedule because it used to be pretty uh, pretty tight but we're li we are missing quite a few series from the channel that I do want to finish off. I was talking to uh, Mr. Teeble in comments the other day and uh, just passed some pleasantries and uh, I was saying to him that I, I want to get um, Horizon Zero Dawn back up and running properly. I want to get Snow Runner back. Um, I know that wasn't necessarily the most popular of my series but it's a game that I absolutely love and I haven't touched it on PC since we did 
our last uh, job. Oh, I think I did one. I remember saying I did one, and uh, the audio was absolutely terrible. That was when we first moved. That's how long ago it was. I haven't touched Snow Runner for seven or eight months. So, I mean, I was already a year or so behind in everyone else that does Snow Runner, but I think games don't necessarily expire. I know their interest wavers and wanes, but I think if you're doing something and you, you it's interesting or you present it in your own way, there can still be an audience for it. And I'm a firm believer of doing what you enjoy. So, uh, yeah. We want to get back to them. Obviously, we want to keep going hard on ETS2. And also, I would like to try and work in some American Truck Simulator. Maybe in a different format. Just maybe one-off jobs every now and then just to show off. Or possibly Farquhar Freights, because get that successful that they branch out and become even more international beyond the European borders. So now we've got this annoying bit here. Might do like our looped headland to try and tidy everything. Now I have been thinking as well, I'm might replace the baler for either a larger, not larger, but a, a round baler or a, a square baler, whatever we can um, power really, just because baling with the small ones um, and then having to go around and stack them and then have to go around and clear them to stack them somewhere else. Uh, it just took a long time. It was fun to do, um, but to do that every time we want bales, I think that might drive me insane. And uh, I know uh, I've Roy enjoyed putting that in as starting equipment. Um, when I was uh, speaking to him about the equipment and stuff, and he was saying that he was going to keep it in for when he released it as the main main game for. Uh, or a main map on Mod Hub. Still got to keep that in as the starting equipment. And uh, that he would give the stacker as well, because it would just be cruel to put that baler in there for people to start with and not have the stacker. So. But yeah, as uh, some people have commented, the uh, starting equipment is different now. It is a lot more generous. I think I even said you get the stone picker, you get some different tractors. Um, yeah, it's been very kind. We should all be grateful to Cavalier Roy for a wonderful map and for his kindness in starting equipment. I think I only changed um, a Massey out for my original starting equipment because we have Massey on Ube and uh, just wanted something different. And that was the. Uh, the John Deere that we're in now, just in a different uh, version. Someone else's model we tried. It wasn't playing ball with us for a while, so uh, it had to go. But that is our first field, raked. Let's pop that away. So I think I'll row the other field and then we'll get the loader out and we'll get some of this put away into um, the clamp and we'll also put some in here on my left for feeding so we can look into moving the cows over.
but I won't make you sit or stand or do whatever it is you do and watch me um, break a whole field again. Well, I might make you, <laughs> I'll put it out there to watch, but I won't chat through it all. I shall uh, probably give a little time lapse when I get back in the tractor. That's generally what I do. That is our second meadow road up. So we're going to take this and let's get a worker to start rowing up some of the hay. I think that's the uh, the best way to get around some of this. We've got a little bit of flexible cash. Still, we've got 119 grand. So uh, we can afford to pay some wages. A very rare thing on a Mr. Farquhar Let's Play is to have enough money to pay wages to not have to do it all of ourselves. So uh, we're going to make the most of it. Now I think this is a nice and straight enough edge for a worker to not struggle. How they approach it is probably going to be uh, <laughs> by smacking it in them trees and get stuck all the time. So uh, we'll see. And I'm having enough trouble uh, dropping it down anyway. Let's get it started. Find my line. And off you go. Ooh, didn't even stop for me. Took me out. Excellent. <laughs> Well, we'll see how that uh, brass willingness will uh, do when they come face to face with a tree. So in the Massey, and we are going to attach the loader wagon, our little old Apootager. I still haven't put the manual attach on yet. I will get round to doing that because I do like it. This is our boss Alpin. Some numbers. <laughs> Oh, look at that. We're going to get to see the uh, the feeder in action while we're around here as well. We just paid a wage, so our worker isn't stuck here either. But yeah, that is, that's taking care of the cows for us. That is absolutely brilliant. We went and we did a milk delivery last, the last time out. That was yesterday. Uh, I think we've probably got about five or six thousand litres of milk still in there. Um, our tanker holds 8,000 so we'll wait for that again. Wait for that to fill. Right, let's get ourselves in position. 
Where's a good starting point? We'll go from here. Now it looks like we've got straw in there. Will that convert as soon as I go over? That'd be nice. It's only 16%. It will. That's handy. So I think I'm going to put the first um, wagon load in the second uh, cow barn. Just so there's some temporary feed in there for when we uh, move the cows. I'd love if we had grazing. If grazing was a thing, you wouldn't have to worry about that at all. You could move your cows. And they'd feed. Please, can someone do something that incorporates grazing into the game? Like we had with the old seasons on um, FS19. It still bewilders me that that was uh, a, f a feature that at this stage in the series, giants still seem to miss animal grazing. I mean, they could they should have it so maybe it's only a certain percentage of their f their feed, much like grass would be anyway. So if you just left them out feeding off grass, they can't just be left. You still have to sort of look after them with other things. But I just think it's something so obvious. Anyway. I'm not a real farmer and I don't make video games, so perhaps I should just shut up and play. I'm sure is what some people would be thinking. We'll uh, open both doors while we're here. Just run through. Got a little something, something growing through. We might have to uh, get our paintbrush out. Now I think this will let us drop some off without there being any animals in there. I assume it would. Just so you could be ready for when they do come. Well that's emptying. a good few thousand litres in there so we shall clear um, both of the other meadows or, bo or both meadows with grass in and we'll try and empty that into the uh, silo by the other or the clamp by the other um, cow barn where the cows are get me words out Tidy up and take this bit first. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm bad. Doing no cap. Only God wants you better go live it up. Cash in the bag, stadium pack. Baby, I'm bad. Yeah. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back, I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me, ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact, give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back I'm sick of being cautious, I'ma go cause something, can't stop this I'ma steal everybody's name, call the As I suspected would happen, the worker got themselves a little bit lost and stuck on a tree but they're all good now. Uh, we'll leave him to it. Cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm mad. Do it, no cap. Only God wants you better go live it up. Cash in the bag, stadium pack. Baby, I'm bad. Baby, I'm bad. I'm not a man, 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 I'
so that's pretty much the first meadow uh, collected up. I'll uh, come and get this lot as I uh, move on to the next field. I'm not going to make you guys sit through, stand through, walk through, however it is you observe uh, me doing that again. Try not to do masses of multiples of the same. So uh, I'll probably bring you back in as I finish the, uh, the other meadow and uh, we get that unloaded and then we'll take a look at what we've got in the clamp now I will just say before I empty this the hay on here as I say it looks like it's getting low but it's still uh, 23,000 litres but silage we've got 79,000 straw 30,000 we're going to run out of straw definitely before we have um, more straw so it's a good job we've got grass and hay in as regular feed as well now the pile of silage that was sitting on top of the pile I don't think is quite registering because it's there as a peak rather than going in so uh, when I do come round to sort out our chaff and get that compacted with the wheel loader I'll give that a scoop there you go you can see it now I'll give this a scoop and uh, see if we can get that to uh, empty in there properly. There may be a little bit in the straw because there was some um, straw in the hay. There was some hay like that as well, but it's uh, it's not there. It's not present. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Although again, I do just need to uh, reset the worker. I think maybe that angle is a bit steep for the worker to work with, but I'll see how it goes while I'm uh, picking up. It's not a problem for me to just keep hopping over and setting them up again they'll do at least two rows before they stop hopefully big shout out to simulator radio vibe for uh, popping out some tunes to get me through this uh, this time of evening uh, it's always Pitbull and Flow Rider, some, <laughs> some cheesy pop bangers. You can't go wrong. Um, I wish I could keep it all in as an edit and uh, that I had a camera so you could see me dancing while I do it. Uh, you'd see that I enjoy this a lot more than maybe comes across <laughs> in the audio. But yeah, we've been, uh, we've been cranking it up. I think that's a great feature. Um, sometimes use it for trucking as well <laughs> simulate a radio awesome so we've got these last few uh, rows I think I've got two rows left uh, I have had to pop over and help out our worker wind row in the hay I think they're nearly done what we'll do we'll go for everyone else's favourite now we can't see them over there, so uh, Lord knows where they are. They might have just driven off. Happens. But this is the last of the grass from here to go into that silo. Uh, we will just grass or just cut and row. They appear to be in a tree, but I think they are at a point where we finish. So uh, we'll let them off. Perhaps have a little break or having a piss up a bush. We've all been there you know you have yeah we're gonna put the grass from the other meadow in that clamp as well so uh, we don't necessarily have to uh, compact it and cover it uh, today not until we're ready to do that I'm still trying to think about how I'm going to uh, address all these things I want to get done nice and quick because I'm also very conscious that these fields are going to want rolling and uh, fertilizing but I don't want to lose too many states because even on uh, two day months we uh, get quick grass growth so you're sort of chomping that stage right back in and giving yourself longer until the next cut so yeah I want to get as much done as I can today uh, this is this may turn into a quite a long episode or I may be able to edit a lot of it down 
cut some of it out do what I can, I'll try and work some magic on it but we're going to get this emptied in just around here and we have got another clamp around that corner as well so if we were to cover up and then want to fill another we can we don't have that much grass it looks like we have a lot of grass but we don't have that much so uh, that's why I do say I'd like another grass meadow and another arable As you see we we're all out of hay and silage I know we've sold silage but we're all out of hay and there is hay in the general feed but what we really want to do is make sure we've always got a stock of hay straw and silage so that we can keep the uh, robot feeder going because that's the TMR and uh, that's the best feed. We'll just get this in here. Now, once it's empty, we'll have a little look and see what we've got already. We've got a lot of compacting to do, that's clear. What was that? Uh, if I squint with my one good eye, uh, 164,000 litres. I think we had like 240,000 litres last time, but I think we silaged the whole lot. We did a whole thing of um, hay, and then we did a whole one of grass uh, and silaged it apart from the cow meadow. We left that. But that's not bad. We're going to get that cow meadow to cut it. We do need to do some maintenance on our um, loader wagon. That is something we do need to do. Because I'm sure it will run faster than the 8 miles an hour that it's given us. Because it's way down, way down on the maintenance there. I'm just going to put that there for now while I uh, have a little think. Disconnect. So our worker had sort of finished. Um, I had to move them right across to the other side of the field and uh, start them working across because their angle was just too much for them. They weren't able to do that. Uh, I'm just going to tidy up this bottom bit here. So that's easier when we either go to load it or bale it, whatever I choose to do. We're going to load some of it because we want to load it into our um, feeder. I don't see any point in baling it just to put it in the feeder when it's just going to turn into loose hay. So we'll uh, load a wagon some of it and uh, get in there. Eventually I think we'll be fine for today. But that's definitely going to need stocking up and we're just going to need lots of it. If we just have this little uh, road headland, gives us a bit of turning room and tidies up the uh, off spillage. I'm trying to get into a better habit of um, doing these headlands at the end rather than to start with, especially with the rowan, because you just end up cutting into it and pulling it about anyway. I think I might. I might take all the way up this side because then when I do come and uh, collect it with a load of wagon we can just do that one tidy loop hopefully that'll be enough to uh, then allow us to bail the rest uh, to store and keep but that is the, that field tidied up now I'm just going to bring this over to the field here, this meadow. And I might start a worker on this one as well, I think. I think that's a good idea. Hopefully, if I start them here, when they get to the end, they'll turn right and cover most of the field rather than turn left and just do that one little piece. Hopefully they've got the smarts to do that. Just see them on their way. Let's get out of the way this time. 
Oh, nope, still took me ankle out. That was probably more me, that one. I'll soon know if they've uh, understood the instructions, because it'll tell me that they finished at the top. <laughs> well, I think what I'm going to do next is start to load some of these cows over and put them in the other pasture, just for a day or two. connected. And do you think we can turn here? Just about. Lovely. So we shall get our brown Swiss. We can get ten in at eight in at a time. I thought we'd get ten. Okay. You can get eight in at a time. We're gonna to have to do quite a few runs. But there you can see them comfortably in the back of the trailer. And we're just gonna take them across to the other side of the farm and uh, get them unloaded. Sure, the gate is shut before we uh, get them in. It's a shame the uh, unload trigger isn't at the gate, but we'll uh, move these. There we are. And somewhere in there, you can see them having a little chomp around. So we'll get all the rest of them in. All the brown Swiss are now moved over, so now it's the turn of the Holstein. And there we have it, the last of our cows are now moved into the meadow. It's a lot bigger this one, a bit more space for them. Hopefully they'll be happy here for a few days. I say there's not much grass, but they're not going to graze, and there should be enough in that trough to... Uh, to sustain them, like I say, for a day or two. But that is going to be it for today's episode, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. We've got a little bit of everything done. Um, tomorrow is probably going to be another episode of a little bit of everything. We're going to get the other meadow cut from around here where the cows were. We'll finish off or... Yeah, finish off the uh, wind rowing of our hay. We'll get this all collected up and uh, hopefully get onto some baling, which might mean some new equipment because these aren't the most efficient setup or the most efficient of setups. So, uh, yeah, make sure you join us for that one. So, if you enjoyed the video, guys, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. Um, I have been asking how people feel about collectibles on this one. Should we boost ourselves a little bit? They're there for us. I see no harm in getting them after enjoying them on uh, Oot Baylor on. But you guys let me know what you're thinking. As always, have yourselves a wonderful day. And hopefully, I'll see you again very soon. Goodbye. <laughs>